Hi friends, in this video we'll cover the most basic and most used command for network troubleshooting, the ping command. Ping command is available on all operating systems and used to establish whether a private or public connection between two systems is up. For example, if a website is not accessible, you can use the ping command to check the connection between your machine and the web server and see if the issue is a broken cable, your network card, router, ISP or the remote host. Instead of checking all your hardware, using the ping command will save you a lot of time. Ping command has multiple options, but the most basic form is to just type ping followed by the address of the machine you want to check the connection to. The address of the machine can be an IP address or the host name. You can ping a public domain on the internet like google.com or a private IP address of one of your home devices like your router. A quick tip, if in the IP address there is only a zero between the dots, you can skip the zeros. So 10.0.0.1 can also be entered as 10.1. The same way you can ping your local host using hostname or IP address by typing ping localhost or ping 127.0.0.1 or ping 127.1. In Linux you can also ping 0 to ping your local host. By pinging your local host you can test whether your network card is working correctly. After that try pinging your router. If you don't know the IP address of your router, open the Windows command line and enter ipconfig forward slash all and see which IP address is shown next to default gateway. In Linux, to get the default gateway, you need the command route, which is installed with the package net-tools. Using your Linux distro package manager like apt or dnf, install net-tools and then enter route to get the routing table which includes the default gateway. For more information about apt or DNF package managers, watch my video on the subject. If the receiving machine is up and there is a connection to it, it will respond to the ping command with a reply. Assuming you have pinged the domain name and there is a reply, the output of the ping command shows the IP address of the domain name, how many bytes are sent for each ping, the response time in milliseconds for each ping, the TTL, time to live, which I'll explain more by the end of the video. Then there is a summary of how many packets were sent, received or lost, and the response time. When pinging the IP address, by default you don't get the domain or host name, unless you use the dash "-a", flag. This works for both public and private IP addresses. If you get request timed out, it means the connection is down, but where the connection exactly is down is at this moment unknown. The problem could be local with your home network, the internet service provider or the remote host. You can narrow this down by pinging other websites like google.com, which should always be up. If you get a reply, then the problem is probably with the web server that is not responding. If you get no reply from google.com either, then the problem is at your local network. That could be your router, broken cables, disconnected Wi-Fi or your network card. The following public addresses are often used for troubleshooting. By pinging one of the public IP addresses instead of google.com, you can check if the issue is with DNS. DNS, which stands for Domain Name System, is for resolving IP addresses to domain names and vice versa. If pinging google.com didn't work, but pinging the IP address of Google DNS did work, then that means there is an issue with your DNS server. In Windows, you can try fixing it by typing ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. In Linux, enter sudo resolve ctl flush dash caches. And then enter sudo systemd dash resolve with the option statistics to see if the current cache size is cleared. You can also check your DNS settings on your network card. Try changing it, changing it to automatic or to manual 
and set it to the Google DNS, which is 8.8.4.4 or 8.8.8.8. Select encrypted only and see if that solves your issue. If you get request timed out on the public IP address, then the issue is local. It could be a broken cable, disconnected Wi-Fi or the network card. Try pinging your router and if that, if that doesn't work, ping your local host. To solve any local issues on your Windows computer, you can try resetting the network settings. Ping command has many options which you can explore by typing ping forward slash question mark in Windows or ping dash h in Linux. You can also access the manual page in Linux by typing man ping, which provides a more extensive information. The ping options are different per operating system. Ping time or latency is the time it takes for a data packet to travel from your device to the destination and back in milliseconds. And this is influenced by your ge geographical location, internet speed, wireless or wired connection, outdated router, network congestion, or applications running in the background. Ping time is an indicator for network performance quality. Most of the times gamers want to have as low latency as possible to reduce laggy gameplay in online games. In general, the lower the latency, the better. TTL or time to live is the time that a packet should exist before being discarded, also known as packet lifetime or hop limit. This prevents packets from moving across the network indefinitely. Each operating system uses different TTL value. Here are the most common TTL values and their corresponding operating system. Each time a packet goes by a router, the router subtracts one from the TTL value. When the TTL is zero, the packet is discarded. Using traceRT command in Windows or traceroute in Linux, you can see which route the packet takes to a remote host. In Linux, you can install traceroute using your package manager. TraceRT shows the amount of hops, which in return helps to calculate the operating system of the remote host. Here the ping command shows a TTL of 57 and TraceRT shows 7 hops to the destination. Because each hop is a router and each router subtracts 1 from the TTL value, 7 plus 57 adds up to 64, which means that the destination operating system is Linux based. Using a dash T flag in Windows, you can ping a host continuously. In Linux, this is the default without any flag. If you have a remote host, like a virtual machine, which you have rebooted, you can send it a continuous ping to see when it's powered up. There are also websites like ping.eu, which you can use to ping from one remote host to another, instead of your physical machine. To recap, use the ping command to isolate the issue as much as possible by pinging your local host, router, google.com, or the public IP address of Google DNS. Hope you enjoyed this video about ping command and how to use it for troubleshooting. And I'll see you in the next video.